games right now. Yes. And it's really showing in the level of gameplay between, you know, our last set and who, what we're going to have here. Okay, you hovering over me, Brawler. That's not right, is it? No, they're resetting their uh, controllers to okay. align correctly. All right, so it is Pokemon Trainer versus Mario. I love watching Pokemon Trainer, honestly. I think this character is one of, like, the most interesting characters in the game to me. Uh, just because of the, you know, ability to switch between the uh, the Pokemon, have these different mix-ups and kill options, and someone's getting loud. Nito just beat Pupe on the other stream. That's what the loud venue is. Oh, okay. So Cal unranked. Man, I would not sleep on, on Nito, though. Nito, no, 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 no. first of all, playing Ken, and then, of course, you know, being an up-and-coming player. But we'll talk about him more later. Yeah. That's Mario and Pow, another Pokemon trainer. And, uh... You know, our resident Mario main. I up here into the neutral, or the down air rather. That's going to be big damage, almost killing, but forcing power onto the Charizard. That is big, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a big target for Master Mario to really swing at. We all know how much Master Mario loves to push buttons. You know, and Charizard got a good number of buffs in the most recent patch. We've been seeing him a lot, played a lot more, but he's still a huge target combo food against a character like Mario. It's dangerous. That up smash is going to. Uh, take the first blood here from Master Mario. Yeah, I definitely think that Charizard still has like his uses. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure how much I would bring it out against a smaller character like, like okay. Mario. But good. Great response. Yeah, great response. Jab, uh, jab reset into S smash. I believe that was down smash. Down smash. It might have been. Down. I think it was down smash. I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, back though here. Squirtle is light, but not light enough for that to kill him. Okay, so escaping the fireball with the Pokemon Switch. Now Ivysaur is out. All right, great spot dodge. Uh, gets away from that pivot grab. Nair beating out the... Uh, I'm not sure what the oh, option there no, was, what but... What was that? Air dodge. Gonna be an SD there for Pow. Okay, and Squirtle's back out. Putting some good damage onto Master Mario. Down tilt at the ledge. Not going to catch. Another down tilt. <laughs> it's trying to push uh, push Master Mario into the tech situation okay, so he can get a jab reset. I do want to point out the, the little slide there is actually scrolls forward tilt. And I know a lot of people mistake it for down tilt. And it, I've heard plenty of Pokemon trainers uh, oh, okay. have to correct people about that. So that was F tilt? That's F tilt when he does oh. that little spin. Oh, Charizard is out now. Yeah, definitely a lot of kill power, but big character. That's going to be a big combo right there for Master Mario, but it's not going to kill. Oh, great, great play. Again, Charizard being the heaviest of the Pokemon, but he doesn't have a jump, apparently? Uh, he never, he got two framed at the ledge, and when you get two framed in this game, yeah, you yeah. don't reset your jumps. True, true. So, he really only had his last one. Really forced to use the flare bits, but I think he was banking on having all his jumps back. Yeah. Unfortunate for Pal, but Master Mario looking great on that game number one. Okay, well, running it right back to their characters. Pokemon Master, or Pokemon Trainer and Master Mario playing Mario. Running right back to the home field advantage of Pokemon Stadium 2. All right, landing a couple F tilts. Right, and now they're both kind of dancing around each other. Uh, Pow doing a good job of dancing around these uh, fireballs from Master Mario. Okay, up throw into down air. Again, yeah, that's really become the brain and butter of Mario in this game. Oh, yes. That's definitely easy damage for Mario. All right, but these back airs just trading with the photos from Pal. Oh, using the water gun to just push Master Mario back, giving himself a little bit of room to breathe at the ledge. And then there, out of shield, great, great option. Oh, send that raising me back. Okay, back throw. Down tilt into back air. Another one, but this time Pow does have his jump. Mm -hmm. 
interesting. Okay, so now we have the Pokemon Trainer Switch, and there's that big up smash, the new and improved up smash from Charizard. I am the Charizard staying out right now. I'm actually kind of surprised to see at least not a switch back to Squirrel and then to Ivysaur, but I guess he's at a high percent. He doesn't want to be that light character. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because, you know, Master Mario is going to be landing these, like, these quick attacks, which are going to send Squirtle a lot farther than they're going to send Charizard, but that down tilt into back air is enough to send a big Charizard away. And we've seen that over and over from Master Mario. It's a great option he's been going for. And we've also been seeing power use uh, withdraw quite a bit as well, especially on Master Mario's shield. He's still able to like, bounce off it, similar to um, Peach Bomber. Yeah, and it really doesn't have a lot of lag. and kind of creates this mix-up of he can switch, he can air dodge, he can just throw in an attack afterwards. Uh, so Master uh, kind of has to respect that option. And <laughs> a great up smash right there. Okay, up air connects. Both these players throwing out a lot of up airs. Right, then they're going to connect, but it's not going to lead into a grab from Master. That's what he's really looking for right now. He really wants to get this grab. He gets one. Down throw into the up air. Up air. Three of them. <laughs> Both of them are spitting water at each other. All right. Up air into the down air. Great Pokemon switch right there. Is going to switch him to the Ivysaur. Keep him alive. Keep him alive indeed. Now we have Ivysaur. You know, he hasn't really been, or Pal has been having a lot of luck on Ivysaur. Yeah, I feel like we've been seeing more of the Squirtle and the Charizard, but once he gets to Ivysaur, Master's very familiar. You know, a lot of our Pokemon trainers here use Ivysaur the most or, like, quite a bit. So it might be, just be the one that Master's most familiar fight. Master's most familiar fighting. Oh. <laughs> Caught the <laughs> recovery with Flood. Very smart from Master Mario. Yeah, and I like that we saw Pau take a second on the Angel platform right there saying, I, I need to reset. I'm winning this game, but I can very quickly lose my lead. Oh, okay. I feel going to connect. Doesn't have a second jump, but still able to make it back to stage. And you have to be hitting those when you're Ivysaur. You know, that's really what you, you're you using the character for, is those down airs and the up airs. Okay, we're recovering very low in force. I mean, the, the super jump punch. Uh, actually beating out the flamethrower. Uh-oh. All right, Master gets a hit, but it doesn't lead into anything. Here we go. Good up grab throw. reset. Up B? Not no, not enough. Kill. Not yet, not yet. Not on a big target like Charizard. But a double back air, and that's going to put him in a bad position. The Flare Blitz, he's in. Oh, okay. He doesn't get the up smash. Goes for a forward smash as well, and now all of a sudden Master has the lead. Once again, the up smash. And that will do it, Master Mario, making the comeback on Pal. That's right. 2-0, Master Mario. That set was just so entertaining. I, I just forgot that was game two.